Bye guys! This is my first video of 2020, so happy new year! I was going through exams in January, so January was just a dead period for me, so the new year has just started for me and I'm so excited that I'm done with exams, finally! If you don't know me, my name is Maria, I am 20 years old and I study at the ETH. I'm currently doing my bachelor's in mechanical engineering and I've already done some videos about ETH's vlogs and informative videos and they are some of my most watched videos and I always get questions in the comments and on Instagram so I decided to make this video to answer your questions so in this video I will talk about the admission process how mechanical engineering bachelors are at the ETH like the courses, exams and lectures and tutorials and everything and at the end I'm gonna talk about what I've been through and what I did for my studies until this semester so if you're interested in that keep on watching I will also leave timestamps in the description below if you're just interested in one of those topics you can just skip ahead before we get started I just want to say that all of these are my own experiences and my own opinions and before you do anything, and before you make a decision, just check out their website, please! <laughs> In order to confirm everything I'm saying, because it's my own experience and take everything with a grain of salt. And yeah, let's get started! First, let's talk about the admission process. I get so many questions about the admission process. It's different depending on where you come from. For me, I am Greek, so I'm a foreigner here, I'm not a Swiss resident, so for my admission process I gave them my high school diploma, my grades from the last years of high school, a CV, and they also require, uh, they call it, evidence of admission to a bachelor's degree program in the major you're interested in, for example, me being Greek, I gave them an evidence of admission to a bachelor's mechanical engineering program in Greece in whatever university in Greece I should just have a place in mechanical engineering in Greece and also a language certificate when I went through the admissions process they were requiring either a C2 certificate or a C1 certificate with a minimum grade of B, which is 80 out of 100 or a test DAF certificate, which is Deutsch als Fremdsprache <laughs> If you're Swiss, then you can just get into the ETH with your Matura which for foreigners it's like the Swiss high school diploma and if you don't have all of those requirements for your application then you can also take the entrance exam of the ETH which takes place I think during summer before your admission and then you start normally with your bachelor's in September now let's talk about mechanical engineering the duration of the bachelor's in mechanical engineering is six semesters but you are allowed to finish your bachelor's during five years you don't have the option to exceed the five years mark and the 180 credits you need for your bachelor's are divided in the compulsory courses also called block courses electives focus courses guest courses labs engineering tools internship and bachelor's thesis. Let's start with the compulsory courses. The compulsory courses at the ETH are called block courses because you take the exams in blocks, which means you take your exams for the individual courses and at the end you get an average grade of all your exams in the specific block and then you either pass all of your exams if your average grade is above 4 4 to 6 or you fail all of your exams if your average grade is below 4 for the first year block which is also called Basisprüfung which is the basic exam, the basic compulsory courses you have Analysis 1 and 2 Chemistry, Informatics 1 Linear Algebra 1 and 2 Machine Elements and Innovation Processes Mechanics 1 
Mechanics 2 and Engineering Materials and Production 1 and 2. The worst one. The, the previous one was the Basisprüfung. This is the first blog. In the third semester, you have Analysis 3, Dynamics, Dimensioning 1, Thermodynamics 1, and Control Systems 1. In the fourth semester, you have Physics 1 and 2, Electrical Engineering 1, Fluid Dynamics 1, Thermodynamics. Two. And in the fifth semester for your compulsory courses, you have thermodynamics 3 and fluid dynamics 2. So this is how the compulsory courses work. And then you have your electives, which you should complete six electives in total. Each elective gives you four credit points. And we usually do them during the fourth and the fifth semester but you could also do them whenever you want during your studies. Then we have the guest courses, which are also called Science in Perspective. They are general knowledge courses and you should complete six credits for those courses. So either do three courses of two credits each or two courses of three credits each. It's your choice. It's like general knowledge. So you have a list and you can choose the ones you want. Then we also have a thing called engineering tools, which are seminars usually in the first week of the semester. It's either like MATLAB, C++, LaTeX and you take part in those seminars for a week and then you have some project to give in or something like that. Then we also have labs for the bachelors. It's 10 labs in total. Each lab is four or five hours long. I don't really remember. And you should prepare before the lab a small summary of the things you need to know for the lab. And after the lab, you need to do a lab report. The only problem with the labs for me was that they are really time consuming. But you also do them with one to three partners. If you do it with your friends, sometimes it's fun, but it's really time consuming. We also have our focus courses, which means in the third year of our bachelors, we choose a focus and you can either do a focus project or a focus direction. And in the focus project, the students take part in a project in groups. They develop this project throughout the third year. There are projects this year, such as Formula One, Rockets. There is a project for the Hyperloop project of Elon Musk. And there are also many more. You can look them up. They change every year. On the other hand, you can choose a focus direction, you can go in more detail about some topics and continue normally with your lectures, but they are more in depth of those topics. And the focus specializations are biomedical engineering, energy flows and processes, management technology and economics, manufacturing science, mechatronics, micro and nano systems, and design mechanics and materials. <laughs> And then in the sixth semester, you do your bachelor thesis, which if you do a focus project, it's on your focus project. If you do a focus specialization, then you have to work with a professor and do like research or something like that. I don't know much about that because I'm currently going into the fourth semester. But if you're interested in that, we can talk about that after summer because some of my friends will be done with their bachelor thesis and we will know more things about that. And we also should complete a five-week internship before the end of our bachelor thesis in order to get our degree. And I will go back to that later. So how do the courses at the ETH work? You usually have a two or four hour lecture of each course during the week. And along with the lectures, you also get a tutorial, which are given by older students who like ace their exams in those courses. One or two years older or even in the masters, they give tutorials to younger students. And you also get the chance to go to office hours and ask questions, usually to PhDs or teaching assistants. Lectures are also recorded and they are uploaded to a video portal. So if you're not able to visit your lecture, you can always watch your lectures online. Other than that, some websites we usually use 
for our courses are my status which is like the main website where you enroll for each semester you enroll in your courses you can look up your exam schedule like what which courses you passed which you failed what are your deadlines and things like that then we have Moodle which is a website where most of the courses upload like exercises and information on the exams and such things and there's also Ilias which is similar to Moodle I have no idea why we use both and not one of them and now exams the worst thing about studying especially at the ETH so the exams are divided into two exam periods you have the winter exam period and the summer exam period in its exam period you have the semester end exams and the session exams the semester end exams as the word says they are at the end of the semester in winter they take place during the last two weeks of the semester in December and I think the first two weeks of January and the session exams this year they started on the 20th of January and they go until the 14th of February and in the summer the semester end exams start at the end of May and they go until like middle of June and the session exams are throughout August for the bachelors in mechanical engineering all of our block exams take place during the session exams so either January to February or in August most of the electives also take place during the session exams the guest courses take place both during semester end exams and session exams in the bachelors most of your exams will be session exams so in the last period of the exam session but as i know in the masters a lot of exams are semester end exams but in the masters they also have a lot of oral exams which usually take place in the session exams i hope this doesn't sound too complicated mechanical engineering has a really good student association they are really organized and they provide us with exams from previous years and they also organize exam preparation courses which are held by teaching assistants and then you have the chance to revise the whole course material and like ask questions and you solve exercises and it's really helpful if the assistant is good a really good thing they are called PVK Prüfungsvorbereitungskurse. The fall semester at ETH starts in the middle of September and it ends before Christmas in December. Spring semester starts in the middle of February and it ends in June and then you get to study for the August exams during June and July but for the winter exams in January you don't have that much time to study for which is bad because you don't get to like have holidays during Christmas also another thing you need to keep in mind is that you only have two chances to pass each block so if you fail twice in a block then you fail your degree you can't go on with your studies so now let's talk about my experience I've already done a video about that but in Greek <laughs> Basically, I came to Zurich in 2017 and I started with my mechanical engineering bachelor's in the fall semester of 2017. As I said before, in the first year you have your Basisprüfung, your Basis exam, and you take the exam of all of the subjects of the first year in August. So you don't have a winter exam session, you just have the summer exam session. It's eight exams, which is for 12 courses, because for example, analysis one and two and linear algebra one and two, and like those courses, you take one exam for them, but the material is the material for 12 courses of the whole year. So I started in the full semester and then I had a two months break because I didn't have the winter exam session in the first year and that's when I did my internship so that's where most of the people do their internship because it's the easiest way you, you have a two month break so you have time to do it and then I continued my, my studies in the second semester then summer came lots of studying I had my exams in summer and I failed them 
with a 3.9 so then it was 2018 and I had to retake my exams I took the same exams in the winter exam session of 2019 so one whole semester I was just studying for those courses to make sure that I passed them and I passed and then I went to the fourth semester but I didn't do the normal fourth semester because I hadn't done the courses of the third semester so what I did is I completed all of my labs in the spring semester of 2019 I did some of the elective courses and I didn't do the compulsory courses of the first semester so then in summer I took the exam for the elective courses and some of the guest courses and I was done with the guest courses and with some of the elective courses and this past fall semester I did my third semester so I did all of the compulsory courses of the third semester this January like two weeks ago I started with the first block exams and they are five exams I took these exams and now I am expecting the results to find out if I passed or not also in the previous semester I was a teaching assistant for mechanics I've already filmed a daily vlog and on that day I also had a mechanics tutorial so look out for that this is where I'm at right now this semester, this spring semester, I'm gonna do my fourth semester, so my compulsory courses of the fourth semester and also some electives in order to finish with my electives. Then I'm gonna go into the third year in case I pass all of my exams, so we'll see. I think that's everything I wanted to talk about. I hope I didn't forget anything. Please check online to confirm everything I'm saying. I hope I answered most of your questions. I should point out again, I'm I'm doing my bachelor's in mechanical engineering I have no idea about masters I have no idea about other majors so please keep that in mind and if you have any questions you can always contact me either write them in the comments below or DM me on Instagram I've already filmed a day in my life at DTH which I'll upload in the next month I was also thinking about doing a housing video and how I found my apartment or a how I started video so if you're interested in that make sure to subscribe that's all I'll see you in the next videos bye